up everybody welcome back to an all new exciting episode of conflicts today we have a brand new robotic kit this year is roly now this was sent over by easy robot a company we've seen that before making the jd robot one of my personal favorites. Now, this one here is a bit of a different robot. It's not a humanoid robot, but it does come with arms and a built-in camera, but it does have treads, giving it almost like a space exploration kind of feel. Now, in this episode here, we'll be unboxing it, building it, as well as trying it out. So if you guys wanted your very own, be sure to check out their link down below in the description. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So very nice looking box here. Uh, in which the front here showcases the robot kind of doing one of these wave kind of poses. Uh, it says build, play, and learn. And then as we kind of rotate it about, we'll talk about a little bit more in terms of detail on the back here. Uh, so it's a 320 megahertz with a 32-bit processing. Uh, it's got speech recognition, a fuse protection, uh, eight ports, 24 different ports for servos. Uh, controls up to 73 servos. That's a ridiculous amount. All right, so let's go ahead and open this thing up. <laughs> All right, so one thing I really like about Easy Robot is their demonstration. So they present it very, very well. Uh, everything is nicely laid out. Everything is literally uh, easily accessible. All right, so this here is everything that it comes with. So you get a variety of different parts, but the nice thing is that it doesn't require any screws. Literally, it is all plug and play. Now, this here is our main control unit. Now, you notice that it does come pre-built, which is great. Uh, as you can see that there's a lot of cables running through it, so it definitely does save you some amount of time. Now, on the bottom here, you'll see that this here houses our battery pack with a port to go ahead and charge it. You have your on off switch and then you can see that there's two different motors that will be connecting to these different wheels as well now the quality of the tread is quite durable so definitely a nice thick tread uh, and you have a variety of other different pieces as well so we have ourselves a total of 10 regular servos so you can see that right over there uh, and then we have two different servos for our grippers as well as a 1080p camera so it does give you a good amount of control units uh, we have our charger for our battery pack. We have some uh, wire cover management system, All right, a USB plug to go ahead and connect to our robot. And then this here is gonna be our main board controlling the robot itself. Uh, and then we have two covers as well as a universal charger. Now we also got some stickers and a quick start guide. So yeah, kind of gives you an idea exactly what that all plays out. So the next thing we're gonna do is go ahead and building this robot and seeing exactly how it functions. So our Roly is finally done and the overall design concept was quite easy to build. Uh, I really like how it kind of resembles JD Robot very similarly. So you'll see a lot of cue similarities, uh, including the way it's kind of built and how it kind of comes together. Now, the overall build time was probably less than 30 minutes, meaning it's not that much of a complicated build. And if you're a beginner at building robots, this might be a great kit for you. Now, let's go ahead and take a closer look at this. All right, so this here is our robot. Uh, so you have this almost like tank-like looking character and then you have these two arms and then you have this head kind of like with a long neck almost looking like a dinosaur. It's a very unique looking concept. Now on the back here you do also have a cup holder or some kind of holder that you can technically place anything in there and make really carried about. And then you have these two big treads and then you have your on-off switch here on the bottom. So let's go ahead and turn it on. Okay, so that sound there is indicating that it's ready. Now it works via Wi-Fi, so you wanna go ahead and take out your phone next. And we're gonna go ahead and search for the Wi-Fi on this robot. So we're gonna go ahead and click on Easy Robot, and we'll click back. And we're gonna go ahead and open up our app here. So this app is called the Arc app. Uh, and then you'll have a variety of different features here. So we're gonna click on Public Easy Apps. We're gonna go ahead and search for our Roly robot. So it's a rover, click it done, search and there is our Roly. So once we download and install it, we'll have our robot ready to go. Click on open. And then this here's the main menu. So we'll click on connect, scan for our Roly. Uh, there it is. And we'll hit okay and hit connect. <laughs> so that means our robot is connected. 
So we have a remote control here on the top right. So this here gives us a full perspective of what the robot sees with the camera right here in the front. And then you have your joysticks, a variety of different functions. So the joystick on the left here will control the movement of the robot. So we can technically move it forward, move it back. We can have a turn. We can have a turn the other way. So it gives you a full directional aspect in controlling the robot. Now the right joystick here will connect, uh, control the camera so we can go ahead and move the camera up, down, left, and right. And it gives you a full 3D perspective in terms of how to go ahead and use it. So it's kind of cool. And then you have some basic functions. So this here is a clap motion. So you can see as the claws open and close, the arms will go in and out and the head will move at the same time, giving it a nice clap feature. We have a left wave. And then we have a right wave. So do one of these motions. And then we have a hand dance. So I'll do like a weird looking dance, <laughs> something like this. So you can technically incorporate that into your own custom motions. Now this here is the resting phase. And then on the top right here, we'll have some other features, including dances. So we have a standard dance. So this here is like a dance movement. Uh, so it includes a corporation of different dances into one. Uh, so do like a wave, it'll do a, like a weird looking <laughs> style, stuff like that, a head bop and you know, different motions of that nature. So we'll hit uh, stop. And then we have music. So if I hit start music. All right. <laughs> so you can technically move the robot too while it's dancing. So head bop. <laughs> You can also even go ahead and move the camera too. All right, so let's stop. So pretty cool that you can technically go ahead and override it. You can have it move as it's dancing, which is really fun to see. And yeah, you also have a microphone as well. So this here we'll hit start recording. Hey guys, this is Conflix. Hit play. Hey guys, this is Conflix. That is so cool! <laughs> and then uh, you have different sounds, so like uh, different uh, animation sounds. So. so you have these different music, so you can technically go ahead and program your robot and create custom animations and incorporate these musics that are pre-built into the robot. So it's kind of nice that they included those as well. Now, other than that, you do have tracking, which is kind of cool. So if you click on tracking here, uh, we can technically do a camera tracking. Uh, and then from there, we'll click on the screen here and we'll do tracking type, we'll do face. And technically the robot should be tracking my face. So currently it does not see my face, but if I move right here, there we go. I'll move my head to the left. Ah, no, there we go. <laughs> Wait, why is it looking down? There, there, okay. <laughs> There we go. <laughs> so it does have the tracking capability, which is really nice. So it is following me. It's kind of cool. And you have uh, movement tracking as well. So it'll actually move towards what it's trying to track. Hi. <laughs> so, so that was kind of cool. But uh, yeah, kind of gives you an idea what you can do with that. So you have these different variations of tracking, which you always go ahead and program into your robot as well. So if I click on home, uh, we have a few other different modes, including Blocky and Robo Scratch. Uh, Blocky is a literally drag and drop coding program, allowing you to go ahead and create a variety of different functions uh, based on your liking. So if then situations, um, different, uh, you know, sensor scenarios, you can technically go ahead and add onto this robot and create different uh, variabilities as well. So it does give you a full amount of movement, text, motions, animations, and stuff of that nature. And then you have Robo Scratch. So Robo Scratch is a different way of essentially creating your own motions. So if you click on action here, so we'll click on, uh, we'll do a hand, so we'll do a head bop, and then we'll do that for two seconds. 
and then we'll go ahead and have it move forward and see if this works. We'll hit start. So we'll do a head bop for about two seconds, move forward and stop. <laughs> so literally in a matter of seconds, we created our own custom animation using this program. So yeah, there you guys have it. This here is Roly by Easy Robot. Now, if you guys had any questions about this particular robot, feel free to comment down below. Otherwise, thank you again for watching and we'll see you guys next time. Take care now. Bye-bye.